Hi everyone, this is Sammy with CNC Router Parts. Welcome to our Portland shop. Today I wanted to show you a few of the benefits and attributes of using composite nails as a work holding solution for your CNC machine. Now, attaching material to the bed with composite fasteners is a really quick and easy way to hold your material down. And by far, the most outstanding quality is that you can cut right through the nails without causing any damage to your router bits. So this happens to be the one that I'll be using today, and it's recommended by Raptor, the company that fabricates the composite nails. It looks and feels just like a regular pneumatic nail gun, though has a few features that make this tool really unique. We do have the pneumatic nail gun as well as a variety of sizes of the composite nails available on our website. Now, unfortunately, you can't use the nylon nails in your traditional brad nail gun because there's a specialized part in the tip that guides the nails into the substrate and prevents the plastic from shattering. As you can see, it's a rear loading tool and the nails just slide in from the back. Also notice that the tool has a safety tip, which has to be pressed fully flush for the tool to fire. We'll set the air compressor to 90 PSI and attach the air hose. Here's a pro tip for you. I like to pull a Goldilocks and find all the different nails that I have on hand, hold them up to the edge of the material and to find exactly how much will be going into the spoil board. It looks like the second one is just right to me. While we're on the subject of quick setups, which this tool gives us the ability to do, I like to keep a rail at the front of my machine, which I check regularly for square and I can just set my material on the bed and snug it up to the edge and it's ready to be fastened to the spoil board. I have quite a bit of flexibility in the placement of my fasteners, though I usually aim for the corners and the borders of my material to avoid any unnecessary holes in my final product. Another point I will make is that if your material is not completely flat, you will have to apply some pressure in the downward direction while fastening it to the spoil board. Here you can see the heads of the nail, which I did for demonstration purposes, but you can adjust the height and depth in which the nail enters the material. I'll give my material a little wiggle test to make sure it's fully attached to the bed and run my program as usual. So what are composite nails anyway? Well, they are engineered polymer composite fasteners and made from air and space grade materials. This means that they're made of plastic, which is great for us because your spindle can cut right through them without causing any damage to your router bits. Also, when the nails enter the material, they heat up and essentially fuse to the substrate like a glue which makes for an extremely strong bond. Another feature about the polymer nails is that it has a really high tensile strength to hold the material downward when cutting. But when it comes to releasing the material from the waste board, it has a really low shear strength and can be easily broken when tapped on the horizontal direction of the material. As you can see, I had a small cluster of nails on my final piece, which was completely unnecessary and also led to a small chip in the veneer. So do take care when placing your nails and aim for the drop material. Now I'll remove my waste material from the bed. Do be sure to clear up any remnants of the nails on the spoil board so that you have a flat surface area for your next project. That's all for our pro tip video about using composite fasteners. Check out our channel for more videos about work holding solutions, projects, CNC accessory tools, and our pro series machines. See y'all soon.